The Biden administration, they've been basically pleading with suppliers and with American homeowners to install more solar. However, the US Energy Information Administration, better known as the EIA, says that this year, twice as much solar will be installed as last year, hitting massive new records as the disruption point hits. This is a real pivot point. This is a point in American history where we start to see America's energy supply drastically change for the better. Here's the numbers that we're going to see this year, says the American government. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The US Energy Administration, EIA, has reported that 62.8 gigawatts of new utility scale electric generating capacity will come online in 2024. Now, of course, utility scale means this doesn't include all the homeowners that could be installing their own renewables as well, that will install their own solar and batteries, both of which have come down in price, making them more viable propositions to homeowners. Plus, there's a lot of incentives as well. Solar. The EIA expects a record addition of utility scale solar in 2024, meaning they're expecting double the amount of solar to be built out this year versus last year. Last year, the total capacity increase was 18.4 gigawatts. This year, they're predicting almost exactly double at 36.4 gigawatts. So last year, we saw a record amount of solar installed at 18.4. But this year, they're saying last year's record was good, but we're going to see double that number. That's absolutely amazing news. More than half of new utility scale solar capacity is planned for just three states. Texas is actually leading America. That growth is incredible, 35%. California, only 10%. Florida, 6%. So more than one third of all solar, utility scale solar that's going to be built out this year is going to be in Texas. Texas is going to be like this renewable energy superpower in America. I mean, some Americans mock Texas. They say, oh, you know, people down there are a bit old school. Would it be fair to say that? Kind of, you know, kind of stuck in the old ways, kind of like cowboys a little bit like that, kind of see themselves as cowboys, some of them. But hey, this is insane. I mean, uh, Texas has more wind generation capacity than any other state in America by miles. They're going to have more solar within probably the next two years. 35% of all solar going into the whole country more than 50 states is going into a single state. It's amazing. The 690 megawatt Gemini solar facility in Nevada with battery storage of 380 megawatts will be going live in 2024. And it will then become the US's largest solar farm. So the biggest solar farm will have batteries right next to it where it can store that energy if needed. Battery storage, it's growing at incredible speed in Australia. You guys are gonna see the same thing in America. The EIA says that battery storage will double in 2024 for a record setting year. And the biggest reason for this is not the fact that all these states are like, oh, yeah, we should do the right thing now. Renewables are great. It's because of prices coming down significantly. Developers are going to add 14.3 gigawatts of battery storage in 2024 to the existing 15.5 gigawatts. That's amazing. In 2023, 6.4 gigawatts of new battery storage capacity was added to the grid. So there will be a 70% annual increase last year. But this year, the increase will be massive because we're going to go from 6.4 gigawatts last year to 14.3 gigawatts this year. I mean, what's that like? 130% increase. That's amazing. 130% increase for battery storage. And then we're also getting a doubling in solar. 100% and 130% renewables are really going at breakneck pace in America this year. Wind capacity additions are a little bit less. I mean, obviously, the cost reductions in wind aren't the same. Plus, it, it is more complex to build out. Now, wind does get a lot of incentives as well. And obviously, part of all this build out is part of it is the incentives from the Biden administration. That's definitely speeding things up. Wind power of 8.2 gigawatts will come online in 2024. Wind capacity additions have slowed down apparently over the last few years. A record amount of wind was actually installed in 2020 with 14 gigawatts. The other great news here is that in 2024, the least amount of new natural gas capacity will be added to America's grid in 25 years. So almost all the investment here is going into really two areas, 
solar and backup battery storage. And that's what I've been predicting on the channel for a long time. I mean, I just, you know, figured it made sense. Basically went off what Tony Sieber said in 2014. That's what got me excited to do this channel. The massive changes that were going on, the predictions that he made, they kind of excited me. A lot of people thought they were ridiculous back then. A lot of people said Tony Sieber was nuts. His, his numbers were just optimistic, ridiculously wildly optimistic and made no sense, but he actually graphed it out. He, he made it up a very logical proposal. It made sense to me. And well, now more than ever, it makes perfect sense. And it's all happening right before our very eyes. We're seeing the world transition to renewables. Well, at least Europe, America, and many other countries, including Australia. There's some areas that are not, but I think most of the world is seeing such a tremendous return on solar and batteries based on the current costs, which will actually continue to go down over the next 10 years, that it just is a no brainer. Guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know. Thanks for watching.